so the seventh question we have we need to find out the flux through this disk of radius r when a charge q is kept on its axis at a distance x perpendicular to the disk now to find out the flux we know the formula for, for flux is d phi is equal to e vector dot d a vector this is the area vector area is actually not a vector but we treat it like a vector i will tell you how so to find out the flux through this total disk we have to find out the flux through each and every small area but instead of doing that it would be advisable if you choose a small element over which you can integrate so the intuitive sm small element which you can think in the case of a disk is a ring so let us take a ring of radius small r and having a thickness of dr this is dr now this dr is actually very very small but i've drawn it big so that you can see now on the axis at a distance x we have a charge q due to this charge q at this point of the ring there's an electric field in this direction that is equal to kq upon this is x this is r therefore this is r square root over r square plus x square this will be k q upon r square plus x square now the area vector is always perpendicular to the area concerned therefore let us take it this side this disk is actually like this the side view of the disk is at a distance x we have a charge q this is the side view of the ring this is as a at a distance r small r here is the dr thickness and here we have the electric field like this e and the area vector is perpendicular and like this so there is an angle theta which the electric field makes with the area vector therefore the dot product can be written as e into da into cos theta so this gives us the small amount of flux through this part of the ring so when you go through the total ring the area of this ring is 2 pi r dr so we can write so when we integrate this e vector dot da vector over this whole ring will for every part of the ring we will get the same e into da into cos theta so this da will club to give e into cos theta into 2 pi r dr now this e is equal to kq upon r square plus x square therefore the d phi that is the small amount of flux through this entire ring comes out to be equal to kq cos theta 2 pi r dr upon r square plus x square now always remember it is always favorable to do integrations in terms of angle theta in physics so instead of doing integration in terms of r we will try to convert r into theta so from here we can write tan theta is equal to r upon x r is equal to x tan theta that is dr is equal to x sec square theta d theta here x is a constant that is the distance of this point from the center of the disk so dr is equal to x square, sec square th uh, theta d theta we integrate the left hand side to get phi and the right hand side we get integration of kq cos theta 2 pi r dr upon r square plus x square the value of small r will range from 0 to r from 0 to r so that we cover the whole disk but we integrate in terms of theta therefore we substitute over here to get 2 pi k q comes outside inside we get cos theta into r dr r dr is x square tan theta sec square theta d theta upon upon r square plus x square that is x square tan square theta plus x square that is x square sec square theta so this gets cancelled and we get integration sin theta d theta and the limits will be from 
theta ranging from 0 to tan inverse of capital R upon x. So, we put the limits of integration here 0 to tan inverse capital R upon x. So, so the final integration becomes phi is equal to 2 pi k q. Here we have only sin theta remaining, therefore, it becomes minus of cos theta ranging from 0 to instead of putting the limits as tan inverse uh, r upon x, we can write it in terms of cos inverse also. This will be theta final. For this theta final, cos theta final will be equal to x upon root over capital R square plus x square. All these things are constant over here. Therefore, theta final is equal to cos inverse of x upon root over r square plus x square. So, when we substitute it here, cos inverse x upon root over r square plus x square. Let me write it clearly. The limits of integration on minus cos theta are from 0 to cos inverse of x upon root over r square plus x square. So, I am putting this limit, we get the final value flux as equal to q upon 2 epsilon 0, 1 minus x upon root over r square plus x square. So, final answer for the flux comes out to be equal to q upon 2 epsilon 0 into 1 minus x upon root over r square plus x square.